Hi, I'm the Noodle Hunter, and today I'm behind a Lawson, a convenience store franchise located in Japan. And from this very convenience store, I've got a very interesting flavor, but a chicken flavored instant ramen. Weighing in at 85 grams of dry weight and a calorie content of approximately 410, you could call this a Japanese Indian flavor infusion. And it sounds kind of funky, but I can't wait to try it out. So far, it seems that all the Nissan cup noodles come with the powder already opened up and the dry ingredients like, you know, sprinkled all over it. Which is a bit sad because I, you know, like opening up those flavor satchels and putting it in there. It's like part of the cooking process. The only difference with this one is it comes with butter oil. Butter flavor oil, that is. Oh, you know what I always do in my previous videos? Lick this oil. Ooh. It tastes, doesn't taste like curry, but this tastes like oil. I don't know how. Oh, you know what? It tastes like popcorn butter, which is kind of interesting. Is that how you make butter chicken? Leave in the comments below because I don't know how to make butter chicken. Yeah. Now, my favorite part cooking these noodles. Ooh, yeah. That's the stuff. As I record this um, outside because I don't want to talk inside, I'm too embarrassed to do so. <laughs> so it's been about three minutes. So, are you guys ready for the grand opening of butter chicken flavored instant ramen? Made by Nissen. Remember, guys, to pick up your rubbish after you put it on the ground. But first of all, we gotta mix it up. Wait, first of all, we gotta sniff it. This, this oddly smells like butter chicken, which is kind of interesting. Wow. The, fl the, um, the color is definitely there as well, as you can see here. There we go. Would you look at that color? That doesn't look red on camera, but it definitely looks red in real life. And you know what I always say? You always got to taste the soup first. Oh yeah, and smell it as well. It smells like butter chicken, but does it taste like it? Mmm. Definitely tastes like butter chicken. Like, wow. I didn't realize how this is pretty authentic. Um, it definitely tastes kind of artificial, you know, but you have to expect that when you eat instant ramen. But the little chicken bits they give you with it as well. Look at this. Ooh. Does it focus? It will focus. Mmm. It's really nice. Wow. It tastes like it tastes like what everything the butter chicken should taste like. Well, if you buy it from like maybe a mid entry level to mid, oh no, not entry level to mid, but like cheap to intermediately priced butter chicken, it's rich in flavor. Not super rich to the point where you're like, oh man, I need to get get some water. But it's enough that you can keep eating it without needing to drink. Like and prevents your thirst. That's the best way I can describe it. Tastes like butter and the chicken stock they use in the butter chicken. I don't know how butter chicken is made by the way, so I'm just going off of what my tongue tells me. Um, you know what? Give me one more sip. Oh wait, I drank too much of it in, one, the, in, um, in my previous shots because I stuffed it up when I was reviewing it. That's okay. But you know what? I give this this butter chicken a seven and a half out of ten. I give it a higher rating, but I don't know if it goes well with instant ramen. Uh, but I guess we'll find out when I try these noodles. Ooh. It's the same flat noodles you get from all the other Nissan cups so far. Mm. You know what? I think it works. It actually it actually works. Like these noodles and butter chicken flavor goodness. Usually like it's uh, sorry, talking my mouth. Usually associate like you know, butter chicken with rice, but noodles surprisingly work well. I give these noodles a, the same as before. I think like an eight or so because it does have that bit of a sliminess to it. But other than that, butter chicken instant ramen doesn't work. Yeah, I recommend you trying it at the at least once, um, so you guys can decide for yourself. But I'm very pleasantly surprised about these noodles. Hmm. Hmm. That's so good. Well, overall, these instant noodles, will I recommend it? Like I said before, yes, you have to try these. You know, when you go to, I think you can get it from most convenience stores in Japan, but I got this one from a Lawson for about 200 yen. Um, other than that, oh wait, oh look at that. I got a really soupy bit. Oh yeah. Mmm, 
That's, that's good. Mm. It doesn't taste gourmet like some of the instant ramens I had before in my life. But yeah, that's all I have really to say about these noodles. Anyway, if you want to join me on more adventures in Japan or other adventures in my living room or bedroom, where do I even live? I live in Australia, that's right. Hit that subscribe button because that would mean a lot to me. But only if you want to watch my videos. Also, hit that like button as well because it will boost my ego just a little bit more. Anyway, I'll see you guys all later.